And as we come on the air tonight, there are concerns about Hurricane Zeta's impact on Election Day. Several polling locations in Washington and Clark counties are experiencing power outages. So how will people cast their ballots? NBC 15's Corey Pittman found out the plans in place to make sure every vote is counted. I'm told power crews are working tirelessly to get the lights back on at polling locations in Washington and Clark counties. Local and state officials believe that will happen, but they're prepared if it doesn't. This is the kind of damage left behind by Hurricane Zeta, now raising concerns in Washington and Clark counties just days before the election. Each county is still dealing with widespread power outages, and in Washington County, only one of the county's 19 polling locations currently has electricity. Everybody will be allowed to vote and their vote will be counted. I will guarantee that. I can't guarantee the power, although I'd love to. Washington County probate judge Nick Williams says power crews are working day and night to get the sites back up and running, but the county has a backup plan if that doesn't happen. They'll still be given a ballot. They'll mark their ballots. The only difference will be it'll go in what's called an emergency bin and it'll be brought to the courthouse or wherever we decide, which would probably be the courthouse because we have a generator here and then they'll all be tabulated. It's a similar situation in Clark County, where I'm told most of the 30 polling locations are also down. Probate Judge Valerie Davis posted on social media that the county has a plan. EMA Director Roy Waite says that plan involves generators, but he doesn't believe they'll be needed. I know they've had crews from several states in here working, so after talking with the power company and a couple other officials, we, we believe it'll be back on at the polling sites prior to Tuesday. Alabama's Secretary of State agrees. He says he's working with the counties and power companies to make sure electricity won't be an issue. And any accommodation that has to be made in order to ensure that we have a safe, secure, and fair election with accountability and transparency will be done, and those standards will be adhered to according to the Alabama Code and the Constitution. Mobile County Probate Judge Don Davis says they also have several polling locations without power in Midtown Mobile and Citronelle, but he says Alabama Power promises to have those locations back online before Election Day. I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.